Hey everyone, you're watching Soundwaves TV live from the Complex Recording Studio in San Francisco with a million miles away. How are we doing, guys? Great. What's up? So hey. great to hey. see you. Hey. I recognize one of you. Hmm. Which one could it be? It's my brother from another mother. What's happening? Morse mother effing night, as right. we call him on Soundwaves. It's so funny to have you like not hosting in, in a band, and this is so cool. This perspective is weird, but fun. I bet, yeah. Dreams do come true. <laughs> I was so excited to talk to you guys. I mean, obviously, when we found out that you were doing a new project, we're yeah. like, yes, we're all in on yeah. this one. Yeah. Um, and you mentioned that there's an interesting story of how this situation came to be. Mm -hmm. And it involves Craigslist, from what I understand. Lots of Craigslist. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, mm -hmm. tell us your Craigslist adventure, how you it led you to Morris Mother F and Night. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, yeah. Well, so my part of the Craigslist adventure actually, well, Actually, Dana was the originator of the Craigslist adventure. But, so it's um, your fault. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, so I, um, I at one point, I had been in another band for a little bit and then, you know, kind of pa passed up on that one and um, was looking for something that was a new project that was going to be collaborative and, you know, everybody sort of coming together, um, creating original music. Mm -hmm. And um, I had been kind of scouring Craigslist for different kinds of things and also some other th some other like um, musician meetup kind of things. Mm -hmm. And someone um, connected me to the Craigslist that Dana had posted um, saying this seems like it would be a really good good fit for you you should you should check it out and I checked it out and you know Dana r responded back and wrote Dana at the end of it and we kind of went back and forth over email um, and then decided to set up a phone call um, and I didn't know if I was going to be talking to a woman or a man. Yeah, yeah. You know, it was just Dana's or the sort of mustache and all of yeah. History. <laughs> <laughs> and it was just the mustache talking. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It threw me for a loop when I met him. I'm like, oh, you're Dana. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. Not what you were expecting. <laughs> yeah. So I had no idea, <laughs> exactly. and so I get on the phone, and it's a guy, and um, you know, sounds good, and you know, we're kind of connecting, and everything that he was like talking about, like, sounded just kind of exactly what I was looking for. Then halfway in the conversation. And we start talking about past experiences and music experiences and he he shares that he's out from the East Coast and I was like oh I'm also from the East Coast and he said that he'd been in bands on the East Coast and I said me too and then he, he said oh I've been in bands in Burlington Vermont and I said me too wow. and uh, and then I realized, you know, I was like, oh my goodness, it, you know, I was like, that's Dina. And he and I were in the same music scene in Burlington, Vermont. <laughs> and uh, I was in a band and my band used to open up for his band all the time. Stop it. We, we had what? numerous times where um, my band opened up for him. So I was actually very familiar with Dana's drumming and he was sort of, he had just been more, you know, he was more senior in, in terms of how long he'd been playing music in yeah. that scene. And so I kind of looked up to him too, cause you know, I was like, oh wow. Like, you know, we, we usually would open up for his band. Yeah. Um, so I just thought like that was wild, you know, that's how, it's written Dana in the stars. and I, yeah, and that was uh, <laughs> that was July of 2022. Okay, so that's how he and I connected, and we started playing together. And he had been talking to some other people in that Craigslist ad, and so Nick joined. Well, we first connected with Nick in January. We were constantly sort of looking for somebody to play synth and also do vocals. Yeah. Um, they were looking for a female or female identifying yes. synth player. And, you and fit I right was in like, well, that. I'm not that. Yeah. I'm not, not that, that, but I yeah. I can kind of play synth and I, I can <laughs> sing okay. And they were like, deal. Uh, <laughs> Let's meet. Yeah, we, we met up with him and we also, you know, we were just blown away by his voice too. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, yeah, and also his synth playing. Um, he was sort of in the beginning of his journey of, of looking for, for people to play with at that point. And uh, I think... It just the timing wasn't right at the time and then um the bassist myself and dana at that time we just kept looking and then nick kind of circled back around and we we had met up with him and we really appreciated him and liked him um and just got good vibes from him so when he kind of circled back around and was like you know i really liked the music that you guys were creating and you know if you're open to it i like to kind of figure it out again and so he came on board um 
right when he came on board, the bassist we had before left. So we were kind of back in the stage of like looking on Craigslist. I was posting Craigslist. Ads I didn't know, all by the, the way, I did not know Craigslist was so active these days. But apparently, it's really good for musicianship. Well, that's great. It worked out for it's us. Fantastic. Yeah. Well, that's kind of the running joke as we've laughed in studio at Soundwaves. We're like, I can't imagine a band putting out a Craigslist ad and then getting Morris Knight like that. Like, <laughs> like I would. Just, you're just like what? Like you're just. I mean, we love. Yeah. Can you yeah. tell we're a little infatuated yeah. with Morris here? Uh, yeah. I had a habit of vetting the different candidates yeah. so I'd like look them up and kind of see what their right, background right. was and I was like who Seriously? what <laughs> this guy what 96 point yeah <laughs> dude I mean that is like there's a lot going on in the package that is Morris Knight and yeah. I didn't mean that in that way I yeah. mean and just you know like, yeah. I, 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 appre I appreciate <laughs> he that he appreciates it I thank you very much <laughs> yeah <laughs> It's just so funny. I thought, wow, that, that had to be really cool for you guys to be yeah. like, Al, we're getting this guy. That's well, amazing. Well, I mean, when he, so we were still looking after that other, you know, bassist decided to leave. And then um, we were just looking and looking. And then one day um, I had put up, I kept renewing the posts. Mm -hmm. And then he, he answered back and... I was like, this person sounds great. And, we, you know, he had shared some music, which is always super helpful if somebody actually shares, you know, their um, some samples of how they play. And uh, uh, Dana and I met up for coffee with him. Um, Nick wasn't able to. And we just sort of clicked after talking. And then he was just like ready to rock, too. It was awesome. <laughs> we were boy. like, he just like hit the ground running. <laughs> he was like, when can we practice? And we were like, yes, this is great. Love it. That's fantastic. And so he just showed up and like it was just sort of like synergy that mm -hmm. that first time that the four of us were all playing together it was great um he and got it right away like and he's an amazing bassist um did you know he this just gonna be a love fest on you i can feel i can feel you like getting red yeah. like, <laughs> good thing brothers don't blush yeah <laughs> Well, I don't know. I'm seeing it a little bit. Yeah. I'm I'm not really a I'm not a Bay Area native, obviously. Yeah. So I hadn't been I haven't been here that long. So I actually didn't. You could have told me it's Morris Knight, and I wouldn't. I would have been like, okay, who's right, that? Right. So <laughs> that kind of didn't really. She's here to humble you yeah. just a little bit. No, no. <laughs> no I'm, I'm just kidding. saying that didn't. Right. <laughs> I don't care who you are, boy. <laughs> I think right. the the thing that we all appreciate about each other, right? Mm -hmm. All of us, we love playing music we love listening to music we are kind of nuts about music mm -hmm. and i we share that passion and when we get in um rehearsal space and we're all writing together it just there's this awesome synergy that happens and um some magic happens oh that's so what it's that's, all about yeah right yeah. i mean that's why you do the band thing that's why you do the music thing uh, i saw you guys are playing goth day the yeah, Goth Day yeah, Festival. That's yeah super World cool. Goth Day Festival. Yeah. It's it's on the uh, SS Alameda, That's um, awesome. which I've never played on a battleship the before hornet. or sorry hornet. Hornet. The, the hornet, hornet. In, Al in, alameda. in alameda yeah that's yeah. right thanks yeah. there's lots of lots of ghost yeah. energy on that that thing yeah. so that'll they'll be dancing yes. around to your yes. yeah <laughs> <laughs> now you'll vision that when Ooh. you're out there playing <laughs> yeah <laughs> that's cool so what do you what's the plans i mean this is new you're still maybe in the honeymoon phase a little bit um but what's what's the the plan yeah dana <laughs> <laughs> take it to the mustache <laughs> i think a plan is um just put out consistent great music and put on a show give people what they really want uh, a real band playing original real music straight from the heart which um sadly is kind of dying away nowadays but uh i want to bring it all back and and put on a, a great show people can really appreciate i think that's our number one objective hey some recordings and all these kind of things might come out of it but that's not uh, the goal. The goal is uh, get up there on the stage, play live, have a great time. Well, speaking of playing live, you guys are going to perform here at the complex. Mm -hmm. this, what a cool space. I mean, what are your thoughts on this space? Wow. Yeah. It's, <laughs> right? it's amazing. Yeah. I know. Like yeah. every direction I look in, I'm, I, I find something new. I know. I was like, we've been here for, you know, more than a few minutes now. I just like, wow, this is so much eye candy in here. Uh, yeah. I, know. I was like, really? This has been here? How long has this place been here? And like, wow, it's, yeah. we get to do this. This is amazing. Oh, we're so excited you know. with Soundwaves. We get to do a lot of stuff here. You know, yeah. this is the 
first, this is only the second interview I've sat here and done. Um, so I'm super excited about what can unfold between the yeah. complex. Like the beginning of it. Yeah, you are. You're, <laughs> the beginning, you're christening it up. Right. This is great. Right. I was going to say, thank you for having us. Oh, yeah. God, of course. Yeah, We're, this I mean, is exciting. To be fair, we would have had you with or without Morris, but, <laughs> 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 but you know, it does help that yeah. you got a sandwich host in your band. It's yeah. not yeah. a bad thing. Not, not right. bad <laughs> having him in our corner. <laughs> I, am, I am seriously blessed in yeah. so many ways, you yeah. know, to be a part of this band and be, you know, part of Soundwaves as well, you know. So, like, I've got two of the baddest female rockers in the Bay Area, and I work with both of them. Yeah, <laughs> That's right. Oh, fantastic, dude. I mean, like, how much better does it get them yeah. than that? It, it doesn't. It doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> so. All right. Find them checking out at a million miles away band. We'll be right back. You're watching Soundwaves TV.